Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be making creme brulee. It's a really simple dessert to make and it only has five ingredients. Those ingredients are five egg yolks, three cups of heavy cream, one half cup of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Let's get started. To start off, we are going to be whisking together our egg yolks and our sugar. Set aside. Next, in a medium sized saucepan over medium heat, we are going to add three cups of heavy cream. And our 1 8 teaspoon of salt. Give it a mix. and let it heat up until it is about to simmer. The cream is beginning to simmer, so now it is time to take it off of the heat. And now we're going to mix in the vanilla extract. Like professional. Now the next step is to temper the egg yolk mixture. It's going to be a little bit difficult for me to do it on my own, so I'm going to have some help from an assistant. Can you actually? Can you? Um, I don't know. Here, no, 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 no. Hold, hold on to this. Or well, okay, yeah, just a little bit. Don't know. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit of the hot cream mixture and make sure that you're constantly stirring the egg yolks a little bit more so that it's not curdling. A little bit more. A little more. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this into that. In a small, in a very slow stream. Here's our custard, and we're ready to bake. First, you want to make sure that your oven is preheated to 325 degrees. And typically, you would divide the custard mixture into ramekins, 
but we're just gonna go ahead and use this larger pan so that it's just all in here. And then I'm going to be adding boiling water to this bottom part. And now we're ready to bake. You'll want to bake it in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. Oops. So this is the creme brulee after letting it chill in the fridge overnight. The next step is to sprinkle on sugar. I have about one fourth of a cup here and then we're going to torch it. No, that's later. Try this. It's going to evenly distribute the sugar to the top. Now you want to be very careful with your torch. <laughs> oh my god. This next step is totally optional, but you can garnish with fresh fruits. We also have this chocolate hazelnut wafer. Okay, I'm gonna... You wanna do it? No, you can do it. Really? So my, I'm an assistant today. So here is the finished creme brulee. Thank you guys for watching. 
don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.